Hello, this is Nancy Bergman and welcome to another session of Cooking with Nancy. And today we are going to make calf foot jelly. About a year ago we found the old recipe for calf foot jelly. And it takes a while. I mean you gotta boil it pretty much all weekend. So we thought, well here's a good time to get started with it. And so the first thing to do when you're gonna make calf foot jelly is to go get a good calf foot. <laughs> oh no, oh no Nancy, no, 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 no Nancy, no, time out. I know it's calving season. Oh. There's lots of calves all over uh, the place. Okay. But we are not going to do a cooking show on calf foot's jelly. Well, that, that's actually, that's a relief because I didn't really want to spend all weekend boiling a calf foot. No, no, that takes far too much time. But I do have an idea. Good. I think because of our fantastic audience, we've been getting in some really educational tips. We have. And I think we should take a drive and go dispel some of the myths that we weren't quite sure about. That's always a good thing to be a myth buster. The myth busters. Okay, so this, instead of being cooking show, this is going to be history, history files. files. All right, we'll load everything else up and away we go. <laughs> All right, Mary, um, we're gonna do a little product placement here. I took Zip to the vet last week for her yearly, you know, rabies shots and other shots and everything. And the vet looked at her teeth and he said, she has spectacular teeth. <laughs> and the reason why is because every week I go to Bushy's Meat Market at Independence and I buy a big package of his beef bones and meat like for making stew, only I bring it home and I feed it to Zip. So she chews on bones and that's how she gets Spectacular teeth. <laughs> All right. Hey. All right, Mary, here we are on this lovely April day and we are coming up um, County V as in victory. And right here at this little crossroad here on the left, we have what used to be the little village of uh, Russell. Russell and this was the Russell store. Right and then right next to it was the Russell school which has been recited and then on our right and there's no uh, remnants of it there had been a cheese factory. Imagine that there was a creamery and a cheese factory and um, that was the place to be I guess was Russell store. It was there until I think the 70s. So now we're on V and we are going north West, and this would be, I suppose, the what upper Borst Valley? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yep. And what we are on the road today looking for is a few weeks ago we did a program about Chapultepec Hill over there in the town of Ettrick up above uh, French Creek. And we said that we had heard there are people that claim that it was the highest point in the county. But we had also heard that the highest point in the county was Square Bluff, kind of down in my neighborhood. And Mary, you thought that maybe it was Arcadia Ridge. Yep, the Arcadia Ridge. So uh, we actually, you got an email, right? Yes, yes. Um, a young man in our viewing audience who's pretty knowledgeable about the land here in Trumplow County. Um, fired off an email that gave us some additional information. Yes, and he knows what he's talking about because he works in land records and he said that Chapultepec Hill was about 1,200 feet uh, at its highest point uh, and 1,200 feet plus, you know, more or less but that the actual highest point in this county, and this is something that really surprised me. He said it was in town 23 North, uh, range nine, section five, and town 23 is Chimney Rock. So I never thought that the highest point in the county was up here in Chimney Rock. 
what he said it was. He, he told us where it is. And he said that's actually 1,300 feet and five. Plus, yeah. 1,305 or 13, 1,306? Yep. yep. And that's the highest point. So we're going to go and see if we can actually see it. But that was the real, I just was really surprised because people are always saying, oh, this Chapultepec Hill, or like you say, uh, Arcadia Ridge. And like you and I have said before, there's a lot of high hills in this county. There is. Yes, there's no shortage. But you know, the one thing I'm learning, Nancy, is, oh, look at right up here, we've got a beautiful oh, rock, rock outcrop, outcropping. Rock outcropping. Oh, look at that. Look at that's a pretty one. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice good. one. Look yeah. at that, and they're cleaning it up. You know, look it's that. amazing. Look at the rock. Yes, it is. Oh, we're just like zip. Look, a squirrel. Now we got to go whoop, back whoop, to. Uh, whoop, whoop. There goes our attention span. <laughs> you know, I've been up on the on the Arcadia Ridge, and you can see for a very long way. Yeah. But. There's not a lot of trees up there. No. You know, so the point is kind of, you know, it's maybe some of these taller, taller parts of Trumple County are just hidden in the trees. Yeah, and just in places that we just don't think of. Like I say, everybody was always thinking that Chapultepec was high. Well, it is, but it is not the highest. So now we're going to, we're still on County Road V, and we're going to go past VV, and we're going to go up the hill. And on our left, the road used to be a little different, but there used to be um, a schoolhouse here on the left, of which there is no trace anymore. It was VM School, V-E-U-M, but that used to be kind of right down in here, I believe, or I think part of it is probably where... Uh, what we're driving over right now because they did change the road. But uh, that was VM school. And so here we go up. Now, a couple years ago, Mary, you and I took a little outing up here, didn't we? Yes, that's right. <laughs> you that's remember? That's right. Something crawled across my foot. That's right. <laughs> we were looking for a cemetery. <laughs> and we found it. And we found it. Yes, there's a little pioneer cemetery. That is just off to our right up here, and it was, um, well, it wasn't in very good shape anymore, but we did find it. Yeah, and we found a couple of very, very weather-worn headstones. Yeah. I think it's right up here in these big trees. And Chimney Rock, the town of Chimney Rock, is pretty interesting because it used to be a part of the town of Burnside. And then uh, in 1881, they uh, broke it off and made the town Chimney Rock because at, by that time it had accumulated enough population that it could be its own township. Okay. And they said that it was uh, practically all Norwegians that were living up here. Oh, so pretty independent bunch. I mean. Yep. Oh, oh, look, turkey crossing. That's the fun thing about doing our road shows. Yeah, you never know. Look at there you go. Nice little hand. Is that what it is? Yeah. We'll see if she'll let us take a picture of her. Keep going. Keep yeah. going because yeah, I've got the camera. There we go. <laughs> All right, we're not done going up yet. Mary. Oh, no. No, we kind of plateaued. Yeah. But the high point, according to... Um, our contributor, our fan, apparently, uh, is in uh, Section 5. Okay. And we're not there yet. But uh, I, when, I, when he first said that it was a chimney rock, I thought maybe he meant up on top of this hill. Because this really, you know, we're up here and now we're going up some more. Right. This is a tall, tall hill. This is. Yeah. Look at all the rocks. So you know... This road was chiseled out at some time in history. Yes. I know it's been changed. I remember one time it was not as nice as it is now. But it is a very nice road now. Oh, and it's a pretty drive. Yeah, look at it. I mean, this is beautiful. I love Chimney Rock. And it's see, not overpopulated, is it? No. I don't, I'm not sure what the population of Chimney Rock is. Somebody told me 200. Oh. I don't know if that's 
high, low, or if that's right where it really is. And we are coming down into Bennett Valley. Okay. And the day that we were looking for the couple of years ago when we were looking for the old cemetery, we came over here too. Okay. Remember? Yes. Okay. Because didn't we go look at the church? We did. Ha! Huh. Yeah. I remember stuff once in a while too. <laughs> and it looks like either a dog or a cat in the road. Well, as long as it's not a skunk. I've seen those in the in the road lately. So now we're coming up to uh, Crossroad. We can go left on County Z, as in what zebra? Yep, and that'll take us to Gilmington. Yes, won't it? I think so. But we're going to go to the right. Uh, we're going to continue on V, as in Victory. And now back in here, we're pretty close to uh, Buffalo County. Yes, it's just down the road here a little bit. Yep. And right here, there used to be a store and a school. Up here with all those Norwegians, the Upper Bennett Valley. And then if we look off to our right, there is a truly beautiful site. Yeah, that is a beautiful church, isn't, isn't it? it? And that's Upper Bennett Valley Church. And what a gorgeous uh, location. They said Norwegians like to put their churches up on top of hills, I guess, so that you could hear the, so you could see it easily and you could hear the church bells. Yeah, because they, I'm sure they rang them before church time. Yep. Get your chores done. Yep. Time to go to Get church. Going. But you know, I'm wondering if it isn't that pointed hill right there, Mary. Well, it could be. It's in section five. It was in the northwest quarter of the northwest quarter of section 5. It might be that. Like I say, we're going to place here I can pull over and, and look at the uh, plat book. Yeah, this is, that's part of a, a tall ridge line all the it way is, around. It is. I might be wrong, but it's a candidate. Let's put it that way. Okay. Because there isn't any sign or monument sticking up that's going to say, you are here at the highest point in Trumpwell County, town 23 North, range 9, section 5. All right, so that's the church, and okay, maybe it is up here a little farther. It says there is a road that goes off called White Pine, and that would be this would be the northwest quarter, and it's in the northwest corner, so it'd so be up in there. It'd we've be a, got a little bit of a ways to go. Yeah, yet. if we go by this white pine road, then it should be just due north of that, is what it looks okay. like. Okay. Yeah. Let's see, let's see, is this white pine road, I wonder? Mm, doesn't look like it. Loomis? No. Longseth. Oh, oh, okay, we gotta go a little farther then. Yeah, they said it was all Norwegians up here. Oh, there's a pump house down. Oh, a little spring house. Spring house, yeah. I bet you for cool and milk. People don't have those anymore, do they? No, they're cool. And look, Mary, this is pretty steep to the right here, isn't it? This is way steep. Way steep up that hill. I'm, I'm thoroughly amazed at how much row crop is growing on super, super, super steep soils. I wouldn't take a combine on some of these hills. Okay, here's White Pine Road. Oh. So, it would have to be over in there. And that we can't really even see from here. No, let's go up to the top. Here. Yeah, let's keep driving and maybe there's, oh, there's a road, I bet you, that goes up. But you said there's somebody living back there? It's a dead end. It's called White Pine Road. Now, if there's anybody living back, or White Pine Lane or whatever. Okay. But I, I suppose there might be somebody back there, but it's a private lane. But if it's in the northwest corner of the northwest corner, that's where it would be at the end of that road, more or less. Yeah, because we're headed back east now. Yeah. And then does this 
Oh, it looks like it might curve. There's some rock outcropping. Look at the rock, rock outcropping. Look at, aren't they beautiful? You know, it's kind of scary that big, big, big trees grow on those. Yeah. And, you know, if you remember like the the floods of 1993. Oh, yeah. Some of those would slough. They do. Okay. Eventually, they do that. Okay, now what's this right here? Okay, this must be... Oh, that's... It says... Uh, I wonder if that's a, like a quarry road? It must be. Can't go back there. No. There's a fire number. I guess we can't really. But now, see it. if you whip around, and there's go down? a no. Yeah, let's just spin this way and see if we could see it from another another angle. See, I'm looking at yeah. that deer stand. There's a deer stand oh, way, up, way there. up on the hill. Yeah. And see, we kind of, now we're looping back, we're going north. So this ridge, anyway. Is a tall is, ridge. It's really a tall one. Yeah. It's probably got a name, and I don't know what. Do you? Have you ever heard it called anything no. up here? No. No, I'm not from these parts. No, I've just heard, you know, Upper Bennett Valley. Well, and let's see if we can get, and this is steep. Yes, it is. Where that where that uh, deer stand is that's way up there you know sometimes you got to go to the bottom of the hill to see the top well that's what I'm thinking yeah we'll see how far away from this ridge line we can get because we now north east yeah now we're snaking our way down yeah, I think right up here <coughs> we will be out of town it should be rock and we'll be in Albion and so that could be let's take a look this high point is is um well maybe part of it's an albion <laughs> yeah scooch over scooch over and let's check that again let's see where sather sather lane, sather lane is, is in reference to that Okay, uh, Sather Lane is right there. So right now we are right on the, the cusp <laughs> of Albion and Chimney Rock. And we're looking if over we here. If we were looking due west from here, we would be seeing right up in here is where that's supposed to be. Okay, let's see if we can see it from, if we could keep going. If okay. there's a way that we can look back. We may not actually be able to get to see this no, point. But well, at least we'll have an idea where it is. And we have clearly with technical professional information dispelled a myth. That's right. Well, they're doing something down there. Oh, it looks like they're taking out a fence line. Well, maybe. Oh. Maybe we're going to have a view up here, Mary. I think it'd be this ridge over here to the, to the west of us, to our left. We can find out. Well, where. I'll tell you what, let's go down this road here a bit and then turn around and see if we can see anything. Okay. We might not be able to, but we'll give it a twirl. Because now we're headed to page 29, right? We're in the town of Albion. Yes. 29. And we're on V? We're on V. Now pretty soon V should connect with Y. Yep, and we're gonna we're gonna head east. Yes. So, yeah. Oh, sorry, you guys are getting to see the side of Nancy's car <laughs> while I'm looking at the plat book. Okay, we're coming up here. Um, rough road, it says. So if the camera starts jiggling, that's why. Okay, I think what we'll do, Mary, is we'll take a, a left here on V and just go down here a ways and see if we can see it from a distance there yeah
Okay, I'm gonna stop this. Oh, okay. And then I want you to run your windshield wiper. Oh, yeah, sorry. Okay. But it's always hard to see over all these trees, you know? And now we're way down. We're way there. We're in wetland. And this is County Road Y. No, this is this v. is this V. This is still V, yeah. Doesn't Y go the other way? Yeah, Y goes back through uh, Hawkinson Valley. Okay. Yeah, so now we're down below here. I don't think we're going to get much of a view down here. Yeah, I don't think so either. So let's find a spot. We'll turn around and we'll yeah. head back and maybe we can see it instead of looking over our shoulder. Head on. <laughs> see if we can find it head on. All right, we'll do that. Kitty. Look at that. We're just a plethora of wild creatures today. All over the place, huh? Uh, okay. We can see that this ridge that goes along here, that it's it's a high ridge. And just like we were looking at Chapultepec, we have to think in our mind that you know 120 years ago or whenever there weren't hardly any trees you know most of these hillsides were, were bare, bare. Yeah. yeah and the only trees they had usually were down along a stream you know if there was water and on top of some ridges but otherwise it was uh, pretty much just a lot of grass and brush apparently when the prairies when the first settlers white settlers came now we may have a few sunspots because we're kind of headed back west a little bit. Yeah, well, so we'll just bear with it. Bear with it. When you're searching for knowledge, you know, you got to pay a cost. Yep, that's just the way it goes. What a beautiful, pretty green. Greened up day. Oh, Beautiful. that little that little bit of rain. Although it's been pretty cool, that little bit of rain we had this past week yeah. sure brightened things up. But those high winds, those are hard on the ears. Uh, I know. That wasn't any fun to be out working in that. All right. So I guess our, our highest point is going to be up this way. Yep. Yeah, we're thinking that it's up in that direction. Where we can't see it. Yeah, or it might even be the top of that hill right there. Right. Be or over a little bit. Because of how we swung around. Yeah. Hmm. So apparently, unlike Chapultepec Hill, there isn't any big rock outcropping. Ba -boom. Whoa, look at that. Well, but you know, it could look like that. It just could be buried in all the trees. Because this is pretty, I mean, if you look at this, this is pretty dense through here. Yeah. And we're climbing at a pretty good, pretty good pitch. Yes, we are. Oh, well, we got one of those squiggle signs. Yep. 25 miles an hour. Right now we are in Albion, but we are going to be leaving Albion and go back into Chimney Rock. Yeah, and we can't see over this hill. No. So they put the road in the wrong spot. Yeah, they should have run it right over the, at the point of that highest peak. Huh? <laughs> That's probably... <laughs> made a challenge for these people. You notice none of these roads go simply up and over. No. They go around the bend on the yeah. contour. Well, it's a lot easier if you were a horse pulling a wagon than going straight up and over. It's kind of a wilder area up here, isn't it? Yeah, most of most of Chimney Rock is a little yeah, more. Yeah, it is. A little more remote. They said it was one of the last parts of the county to get settled. Well, and that was because they it said the nature of the land. That's what it said in the, in the little history of Chimney Rock. 
nature of the land, okay? Meaning that it was hilly and, and wet in places and a little and, more of a challenge. And not good to farm on. Right. Unless, you know, if you're dairy farming, you know, those cows can manage hills. Yeah, they don't rule too often. No. Unlike tractors and, you know, chopper boxes yep. and now big trucks. Yeah. Although I think they're a little bit more careful. I don't know. It's hard to say. Well, it might be this <coughs> ridge that is just right up ahead of us. This is that white pine road and it said it was right off of that. Yeah, this could be, we could be looking at it here, uh, folks. Well, that could let's be say it. it is. <laughs> We're hoping. Yeah, and if it isn't, you can come and slap us. That's right. But we're guessing that it's just behind those pine yeah, trees. Yeah, I think it's that ridge up there. That ridge that you can see in the distance. Because that would be the northwest corner of the northwest corner of section five. Yeah, this is pretty incredible. And we, I think we can get maybe a little bit better view here. Coming back. There. We're thinking that's it right back there behind yeah. us, beyond the trees. And there we go. Now looking down the valley, isn't that a beautiful sight? You can see the church up there. Isn't that a beautiful view? Yeah, that must be East Bennett Valley. The East Bennett Valley Lutheran Church. And it it's not um, functioning like they don't have services every uh, m weekend or anything like that anymore. But they do have it open for special occasions. And what a beautiful valley. Well, Miss Nancy, I think that is another wrap of the History, History Files. Files. And we go down the, the valley here. Taking it all in on this beautiful day in March. April. Or April. Oh my gosh. April. I'm only off by about a month. Yeah. Just a few weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Just a few weeks. It's gorgeous. I just, uh, I love driving up here. And I just got back from driving down to central Illinois. Where it is flat. It is flat as a board. <laughs> it is flat. Like somebody took a bulldozer and just leveled everything out. And uh, I just find this, this is so pretty up here. I know it's not as easy to farm, but uh, it certainly has points. And should we end at the church? Sure. Thank you very much, and join us next time on The History File. Thank you all so much. We love it whenever you uh, leave a note or contact us and say, you know, we really like that program. Uh, we got to kick out of that. We, we love that. So don't ever be shy. Always leave a message at the TV station. And watch us online. That's right. We're everywhere. <laughs> no. And you just you can't get away from us, can you? <laughs> We're everywhere. We're everywhere. We're everywhere. <laughs>